it's beginning to look more like a case of murder. Injuries on Orindam Manna's body suggest that he was possibly tortured before he died. His leg was broken, his torso severed and one eye had popped out. And the body itself was found by the railway track far away from his home and office. If someone who lives in Darshnagar wants to commit suicide, why would he travel 60 kilometers and commit the act in Mankundu? And why would he call his mother and say that my life is in great danger? A second autopsy was conducted on Manna's body after his family complained that the first one was held in a hurry. The Bengal CID has started investigations, but the case is getting more intriguing. The SIM cards in Manna's phones and his bag were missing. And the investigators still do not know who was threatening Manna and whether this had any links with the Rizwano death probe. They are sending message also to us that is an example and warning. That if you don't uh, become hostile in the court of law, then you might face the same consequences. More than a day after Manna's death, it's the murder suspicion that's getting more deep-rooted than suicide. And if murder is established, it would, ahead of the elections, leave the Bengal government red-faced like it did when Rizwan perished. The death has led to a huge public outrage and the opposition parties are cashing in. The Congress held a 12-hour local bandh and the Trinamool Congress workers demonstrated outside the morgue, even demanding to be let inside. In Kolkata, Shogotu Mukhopadhyay.